Hello traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Tuesday, January 12th, 2010. This is your post-market analysis. I'm happy to be back after a uh, longer than expected break from the uh, website and trading in general. <clears throat> uh, basically I was on break from school, I broke my wrist and I did not expect to be in so much pain and have so many things going on. But um, back now things are uh, happening in the markets for sure last night I said um, in my posts I'm not sure many of you caught it though um, watch Alcoa because when they came out with earnings they kicked off the earnings season and um, it looks like and it is true <laughs> their earnings came in much worse than expected so after hours last night in Alcoa you can see a big drop down and then a continued just com almost a straight line down uh, sell-off throughout the day closing pretty much at its lows and uh, we'll take a look at that right there it was down as much as 12 percent going into the close and then pulled back a little bit um, pulled back north that is so uh, things are not looking too good on Alcoa I'm gonna draw a quick trend line here just to show you I mean no matter which way you draw that um, that's definitely hurting Alcoa's uh, recent run up so I would not be surprised with a continuation sell off here for Alcoa let's well I mean that impacts the market in a few ways um, that could uh, affect what traders expect to see out of this earnings season um, kind of set the mood as this might not be such a great earnings season and uh, that has traders worried um, also, um, the markets did sell off today, however they did hold some support areas which is good to see. Let's take a quick run around the markets. SPY down 0.93%, the Diamonds down 0.38%, the NASDAQ down 1.25%, the Russells down 1.1% give or take, and the Financials <clears throat> down almost 1.5%. So, the sectors that I would not like to see the weakest, which is which are, excuse me, the Nasdaq, the Russells, and the Financials were the weakest today, which is a bad thing to see uh, for the bulls. Definitely not a good sign. Um, let's take a quick look here at the action on SPY. This is the S&P 500 tracking ETF. Uh, I use this because it has volume, which is a pretty important indicator. So as you can see here, we gapped down with that Alcoa news, excuse me. Um, tried slightly to fill the gap, but then just sold off pretty hard between 11.30 and um, 1.30. And then we put in our low around 1.30 and uh, kind of chopped sideways from there. Um, at the end of the day, we saw huge volume step up and uh, a good lift in the markets, which is something to take note of. So on the daily chart here of SPY we do have a uh, reversal pattern here nice hanging man reversal pattern right here and um, definitely a pullback on good volume however that volume if you go intraday seemed to be mostly to the upside so most of that volume was uh, in an upward move if you will so the volume is a little less significant today. I'm going to take away from that that bear argument there. <clears throat> Let's look at some of the others, uh, some of the other indexes and commodities and stuff. Um, here we have gold down 2%. The dollar finished flat, which is strange to see gold move so much and the dollar not move, um, as well as equities move so much and the dollar not move. Um, the trends, the trends were both negative. They have about the same picture here, both above 1.2, which is bearish. Um, the ticks, and when I say trends, I mean trend and trend Q. The ticks were both negative or bearish as well. And the VIX, the VIX had a big spike up today, about 5%. Um, was up much bigger, but definitely pulled back. So some positive things going into the close it's tough to call what tomorrow is going to be especially with that strong finish thanks for being a part of swinghigh.com